everyone, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home, and today I have another collab for you. And this one is another cookbook collab hosted by Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life. She has some great food content on her channel. She has vlogs and just a little bit of everything. And you definitely need to check it out. And I'll have her channel linked below, as well as the playlist for all the other ladies' videos. And there's some great cooks here, so you need to check out their channels. And if you're coming from another channel and you're new here, I just want to say welcome. And I hope you'll like and subscribe and join my YouTube family. And today I'm using this cookbook from my grandmother's church. It's called From Our Church to Your House. And it's got a great recipe in here for a one dish chicken and stuffing bake. And I thought it sounded good because I love thanksgiving type meals and i only have it once a year i don't know why it's just delicious so i thought this sounded great and when i looked down at the author it was even better because it is a relative of mine donna's and she's passed away and she was the sweetest person so i'm honored to use her recipe and i'm also going to do a squash patty recipe that's in the book and i'll turn you around and i'll show you how i made them Okay, for the one dish chicken and stuffing bake, I've got some thin sliced chicken breasts, some stovetop stuffing. It says her, it says herb seasoned stuffing, but I'm just going to use what I've got. I'm trying to get rid of some of the stuff out of my pantry. So I'm using that. I've got paprika. It says uh, it calls for a can of cream of mushroom, but I have cream of chicken, so I'm going to use that. And it calls for one third cup of milk. It also calls for chopped fresh parsley. I don't have any, but I think I have some dried. Just looking through this recipe. And I have to go ahead and mix the stuffing. So I'm just going to go by the directions on the box. And let me go ahead and get that mixed together. And we'll be back. Okay, the water's boiling. So it says to put in the stuffing mix turned off the heat and my burner is like Satan so I'm going to take it off the burner and let it sit and absorb while I get to the next step and I'm going to change the recipe slightly which you know if you've been around a while you know I can't just I have to do something different but it just wants you to put the stuffing in the middle and place the chicken on the chicken on the sides of the stuffing. I'm not going to do that, and I want to give my chicken some flavors. I'm going to use a little bit of this avocado oil, and I'm going to put some butter in the pan. And I'm going to season my chicken really well, and I'm going to cook it a little bit, just give it a little bit of color. And also, that'll give the chicken some more flavor, and it won't take as long in the oven because I've got really ch thin chicken breasts. That heat up a little bit. The oil's going to help the butter not to burn. So I'm gonna leave that for a second. Okay, of course, my camera wasn't working, so or you know user error but i've got salt pepper onion powder on each chicken breast and i'm just going to brown them not i'm not going to cook them all the way i'm just going to put them in the pan and it says the recipe said to put it in a baking dish i'm just using this because that's all i have right now because i'm in remodel mode so i'm going to It doesn't say this, but I'm going to go ahead and just spray the pan so nothing sticks. I'm going to turn them over on the other side and let them brown a little bit. That way you just don't have boiled chicken. I just don't like putting chicken in something without giving it a little bit of flavor first. So I'll give that a couple more minutes and then we'll go to the next thing. Okay, I've got the cream of chicken in a bowl and now I'm going to use some parsley flakes. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to put just a few shakes in there. Then I'm just going to mix that together. 
and then I'm going to put in a third of a cup of milk and stir that in. Of course, I forgot to hit the record button, so I didn't get to show you what I did after I mixed up the soup. What I did was after I sprayed the pan, I put the chicken down in a layer, and then I put the stuffing mix over that, and then I poured the soup mixture over that, and baked it in a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. And the only thing I would do different next time is I would cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces it was a little bit harder to eat the whole pieces of chicken. So that's the only thing that I would do different. This was really good. It smelled wonderful and it was delicious. And I will definitely make that again just with the chicken in bite-sized pieces. Okay, this next recipe, I'm going to make squash patties. It sounded really good. I've got a squash from the garden. So it calls for an egg beaten, so I've got an egg in there. It calls for sugar, but I'm not putting sugar in squash. It calls for half a teaspoon of salt. I already put it in with the egg. And I'll put some paper, pepper in just a second. It calls for two tablespoons of onion. I just used what little bit I had left. It calls for one cup of cooked mashed squash, but I'm not going to cook it. I'm just going to grate it into the bowl. It calls for cooked squash, but I think that would be kind of too wet to fry. So that's why I'm just going to put in the grated squash and it'll cook really fast. And it also calls for a half a cup of, it says self rising, but I don't have any right now. So I'm going to use the regular doesn't have to rise for me. It doesn't matter to me. I almost, I almost used cornmeal, but I thought I better just stick with the closer to the recipe. I wish I would have used cornmeal. That's what I usually coat my squash when I fry it, but this was pretty much tasteless. Even I even put in more salt than it asked for, than it called for, and I put onion powder in there and some more pepper. And it was just kind of tasteless to me. I don't know why. I usually like fried squash. But it still was good. It just wasn't as flavorful as I thought it would be. But I will probably tweak this and make it again. Maybe put more onion in there. And it did eventually when you stirred it up. It got a little bit wetter. So it was, it was pretty easy to to assemble and fry and I will definitely try and do this with zucchini also I think that would be good okay the oil is sizzling so I'm gonna it says to drop by tablespoons into the hot oil and then flatten okay put one spoonful down and make them flat this one's not round it's gonna be oblong for some reason. I don't care what they look like as long as they taste good. They fried up wonderful. They had perfect color. They were the perfect consistency. It was just the flavor it was just lacking a little bit. Okay, I took it out of the oven to rest. And I'm finishing up the squash patties. We're going to be eating in a few minutes. The second batch is where I put more salt and onion powder. It was a little bit better, but I still need to tweak it just a little bit. I also opened up a can of sweet potatoes. I thought that would go perfect with the chicken. And now, like all the juices reabsorb into the chicken and everything. So let's dig in. Chicken's falling apart. You got everything, you got your soup mix, you got your stuffing mix. Just 
going to grab a little bit more stuffing because that's my favorite part. We really enjoyed this meal. It was kind of like a Thanksgiving dinner. Like I said, the squash just needed a little bit more flavor and the chicken should be in bite-sized pieces, I think. But I will definitely make this again. It was really good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you make this because it was really good. And who doesn't like Thanksgiving? Let's make it in July. Let's have Thanksgiving in July. So I, I want to thank Tamara again for hosting. I'll have her channel linked below and the playlist. And if you made this, let me know and comment down below. So I'll see you again in the next video.